Hello Capricorn, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of August 28th through September 4th, 2017 and I keep wanting to say 9th. The cards I am using today are Oracle, oh, Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book. Secrets coming out. Oh yeah, secrets, secrets, secrets. Oh, they might be your secrets or somebody you're anticipating these secrets coming out. All right, so you want to press and read and check in the description box with luck. Thank everybody for everything and let's get this shoe on the road. What's going on for the Capricorn, 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 Capricorn? What's going on for the Capricorn? Love reading 8, 8, 28, through 9, 4, 2017, Capricorn, 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 love, 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 mm. so things are moving very fast for you, Capricorn, what's moving, ooh, so you little, you got a secret coming towards you, hmm, okay, so maybe it could be something that just started a secret about something, let's see, Wow. Okay, we got to really see what this secret is because this is like all over the place. So we got something that's happening real quick about a secret that is um, hidden from you. I feel like that because it's reversed. And right now you're trying to self-cleanse yourself. You're trying to think about what you did in the past and help yourself not do it again, okay? What is this secret card about for the Capricorn? What is this? Caution, weary sign. Oop, I just heard it's not yours. All right, so something. Somebody feels like you're using them. Okay, this could be the other way around too. It's the other other way around. This could be objects. Okay. We're gonna put this sideways. So okay, it might be some back and forth going on here, but I feel like you're giving more than you're getting, and I feel like you you guys might be arguing about this. Okay. Mm -mm. Yeah, the Cleo cards are going to have to tell us more. So, somebody is trying to be honest about some kind of secret that's going on. What is this honesty about? What is this honesty for the Capricorn? Love rating 8. Okay. Alright, so somebody is basically telling somebody that they're letting them go. Or maybe they let somebody else go because they're violating their personal space. Or they feel like uh, they're getting their personal space violated. You know, so that's that you got me all over the place capricorn look at this okay ooh so it seems like your friends might have told a secret or like no it seems like somebody's trying to tell you to be honest to your ex or about your ex mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> okay, so it seems like somebody is trying to tell you, somebody that you're close to, that you love, um, is trying to tell you you need to be honest about your ex. So maybe you were with somebody else and some crazy stuff happened or maybe you don't trust somebody and you're scared to tell them what's going on with your ex. So you feel like your ex used you for some reason. Yeah, you feel like you, you your ex used you, but you was using. It was like both going on. It was using going on both ways. Yeah, I feel like you might have let your ex go because of they were violating your personal space. It seems like they were doing stuff just to piss you off. Or this could be you to them, okay? What are these unseen events for the Capricorn? What are these unseen events for the Capricorn? 8, 28... Jeez, like you got whole books flying out for everything. Ooh, yeah. So it seems like you might be starting to realize that um, your ex left you for somebody else. Or you feel like your ex left, uh, you left your ex for somebody else or your ex feels like you. But somebody's coming into the realization that the breakup is because another person. And I feel like you don't want to tell somebody this. Okay. 
Okay. Yep. So somebody's starting to actualize situations that went on with their ex. I don't know why it matters because your ex is gone. So, oh, wow. So something happened in your current relationship that made you, maybe this whole lie situation, not lie, just not being honest about what happened with your ex. And your ex finding out you're cheating and not being honest with the new person about this might have caused the breakup because this is like you on your way. It's a new journey because this person brought, broke up with you. Okay. All right. Let's see what the Cleo cards tell us. Maybe we can clean this up a little bit. All right. What's going on? Capricorn, 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 love rating 8, 28, Capricorn, love rating 8, 28. Through nine four, 2017 Capricorn love reading eight twenty eight through nine four 2017 Capricorn love reading no. cut it out no. girl no. stop it okay sorry about that guy. All right, so this makes me feel like this happened for a reason. This is a good thing that this person left you. Ooh, so <laughs> you could have been left by Aries or you could have been left by somebody who is a, I'm not going to say a, a nasty individual, but just messy, um, unmotivated, you know, just didn't want to do anything. Or maybe you you left a uh, Aries for this messy individual. Okay. Oh, there's some weird stuff going on here. All right. So this is the X card. Secrets coming out and um, it causing you to have nightmares and lack of sleep. Okay. Yep. All right, let's read these out the book. But everything, this is a everything happens for a reason reading. All right. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. It says, new events bring positive change. Your life continues to look for opportunities and expect success. Possibly the conclusion of a recent event for the better. <laughs> Start fresh and look for abundance. So, okay, so it's basically saying start and go look for somebody else. <laughs> like, just be honest. Honesty. Honesty is it. All right, so, got the Empress reverse, and that's generosity and manipulation. Okay, then we got mm -mm -mm. the Three of Swords. And it says, a broken heart, whether in a relationship or in life, the ending of an affair, a bitter breakup, take care of emotional problems. All right. Now we got the nine of staffs. All right. The nine of staffs says, it's reversed. The result product of lack of planning movement will be painful and draining um, with little time for rest. So it's basically saying... I don't know. This is it's it's this is wide open. It's basically saying that if you do go back to your ex that you cheated on or did cheated on you, it's gonna take a lot of work to get that together. You know, and then it's like it's basically telling you to conclude the whole relationship and just take off, you know. You you've been uh you've been bit and just get out of there and go don't go back in that water. That's what I'm feeling like. Um, yeah, so, I mean, that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Y'all give me a hard time every week. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, email me and we can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week.